was enjoying the afternoon sun with his favourite tipple, cherry wine. <laughs> yeah, all right, just a small one. Mm, this wine's very dry. Oh, the bottle's very dry. Kel the mark. This was serious. That was the last bottle in my cellar. In a fit of pique, he smashed the bottle on the ground. And to his surprise, he found a cherry stone. Hello, what's this? Ah. Fox had an idea. One man went, man. Ah, oh, the pleasures of toiling in the good earth. There you are, my beauty. Let me tuck you in. Night, night. Or to your garden at half past three. Soon you'll have a cherry tree. How true. And if you wait till half past four, then you'll see it grow some more. Ah, oh, ah, oh, my first born, and before long, little beauty. Fox's patience was rewarded. The tree blossomed. Oh, I love the spring. And the first cherries appeared. Isn't nature wonderful? Soon have the cellar restocked. Brixton couldn't believe his eyes. A cherry tree? Wait, that wasn't there this morning. Carrots? Cherries? Cherries? Carrots? Carrots? No contest. Now, while no one's looking... <coughs> oh, what's that? That was Fox, who was distressed to find that two of his precious cherries were missing. Oh, who could have done this? I, what? I, I, no, two more! Fox thought what was needed here was some jungle tactics. This ought to do it. The old Peruvian rat trap. But, sadly for Fox, Brixton had never heard of Peru. Yum, yum. Fox waited for his plan to bear fruit. Yeah, patience is the only way to catch these filthy fruit filchers. Brixton was working hard on the knotty problem of the Peruvian rat trap. Now, one rabbit stool. Soon have this sorted out. Huh? Now, let's see here. Eighteen down, two to go. But just then... Oh, dear. <laughs> so that's what a Peruvian rat trap does. Fox hadn't heard a thing. Hmm. All tied up and nowhere to go. Just then... Salvation. Hello. What's this thing? I wonder what let me if I give it a prod. Herman prodded. Do you mind? It speaks. I'm Herman. What's your name? It's me, Brixton. Oh, you look different. Are you all right? Yeah. What are you doing hanging in that tree then? You at a loose end? <laughs> this is very serious work. Yeah, I'm guarding these cherries. Oh, yeah. I like cherries. Yeah, I get well paid for it too. Well paid? Yeah. Do you think I could guard those cherries too? Brixton appeared to think about this for a moment. No, it's a very specialised job. Oh, well, back to the bakery. Brixton waited just long enough, and then... Yeah, Herman! Yeah, I've changed my mind. Come back here. Oh, uh, yeah? What is it? What is it, sir, <laughs> to you? Oh, sorry, sir. All right, stand easy. Yes, sir. Now then, you must take the guard's oath. Do you promise to guard these cherries with your life? Yes, I promise to guard these cherries with my life. Right. Untie me. Ah, uh, now hang on, it's a granny knot. Ah, uh, there we are. Brixton was enjoying himself. Attention! Herman only had one question. Don't I get a uniform? Get in that tree. Ah, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Who'd have 
have thought it would take so long. Are you sure this is the correct guarding position, sir? Positive. Well, have a nice day. Bye. And with that, Brixton took the last of the cherries. Oh, dear. On his way home, he ran into a fox and thought he'd stop and say hello. 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 I've just been uh, admiring your cherry tree. Yeah, you know, the, the one Herman's hanging in. Uh, the one Herman's hanging in. Hi what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> did I say something? <laughs> so like hooks, take oh, oh, swipe, oh, and that, oh, and oh, that, oh, and oh, that. Oh, oh. Bye. Thanks for the cherries. <laughs> and let's hope Herman has learned something. Yes. Before you offer to help a hanging rabbit, think on. You may end up swinging for it. Uh, yeah, that's right. Ow.